Welcome to CoreLogic's monthly housing market update. This month, we're covering off on the performance of the housing market through to the end of October 2016. The rate of capital gains remains reasonably strong across the Australian housing market, at least at a macro level, based on the October results from CoreLogic's Hedonic Home Value Index, dwelling values moved half a percent higher over the month to be 2.7% higher over the quarter and 7.5% higher over the past 12 months. A year ago, the annual growth rate was stronger, with values 10.1% higher over the year, but importantly, the marketplace was softening at this time last year. Capital city dwelling values recorded a negative change over the final quarter of the year, and auction clearance rates had fallen to the low 60% range before dipping even lower in December. This softness has well and truly dissipated on the back of lower mortgage rates, tight stock levels, and a rebound in investment activity. In the current market, clearance rates are still above 75% across the combined capitals, while auction results in Sydney have consistently been above 80% throughout spring. CoreLogic's estimate of settled sales has recently shown an improvement after trending lower over the past year. Also, investment activity has been steadily rising since the latest cycle of interest rate cuts, with the value of investment-related housing finance commitments up 10% between May and August this year. Additionally, stock levels generally remain low despite the recent seasonal rise in listing numbers. Newly advertised properties are tracking 3.6% lower than at the same time last year across the combined capitals. With stock levels remaining short, particularly in the hottest markets, there's also been a recent improvement in selling metrics. The average selling time has dropped from 50 days to 39 days in September, and discounting rates have also fallen to the lowest level since March 2015. Low mortgage rates are likely to be another primary driver of the housing market's strength. The discounted average standard variable mortgage rate is now tracking at 4.5% and the three-year fixed mortgage rate is averaging an even lower 4%. The cost of housing debt hasn't been this low since the early 1960s. Overall, the headline growth rate across the Australian housing market remains strong, but the annual growth rate remains softer than it was a year ago. With a pace of value growth accelerating over the second half of 2016, it may be the case that the annual rate of growth starts to track higher than last year's measure over the coming months. While a high rate of capital gains has been good news for many homeowners, many prospective buyers are now facing stretched affordability. In the highest growth market, Sydney, household incomes have risen by 25% over the past five years and dwelling values are 62% higher over the same time frame. This disconnect between the appreciation of home values and incomes is creating significant hurdles to enter the market, particularly with many lenders now requiring a deposit of 20%. Higher entry and exit costs are another barrier for higher transaction numbers. Government charges, including stamp duty on the purchase of a medium-priced Sydney dwelling, have increased by 72% over the past five years, while the median dwelling price has increased by a much lower, but still high, 58%. Government charges in Sydney and Melbourne are now substantially higher compared with the other capital cities. Additionally, there is growing imbalance between rents and dwelling values, which is once again more pronounced in Sydney and Melbourne, where rental yields are pushing new record lows due to the rapid appreciation in dwelling values, while rents remain relatively flat. Higher yielding capitals such as Hobart, Canberra, Brisbane and Adelaide, where the typical gross rental yield on a house is at least 4%, may start to become more attractive to investors because of their healthier yield and earlier stage in the housing market cycle. Another pain point of the marketplace can be seen in the significant supply of apartments that have been approved and that are under construction. While there are no real concerns around detached housing supply, the number of units under construction within high-rise towers has surged to unprecedented highs. Such high levels of apartment development have caused lenders to heighten their risk assessments across key inner city apartment markets. While there are a growing number of factors that indicate the housing market is likely approaching a peak, it does appear that low mortgage rates are likely to keep a floor under housing demand. Additionally, investors who comprise approximately 40% of all new mortgage originations are progressively stepping up their presence in the marketplace. With other asset classes providing low returns or higher volatility, it's likely that housing will continue to be an appealing choice for many looking to invest. For more analysis and research about Australia's housing markets, make sure you check out our website at www.corelogic.com.au.